In 2023, book publisher Tashin released another monster movie book. This one is on Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. I have owned two other Tashin books on Kubrick, one being The Making of 2001 and the very popular Stanley Kubrick Archives, which covers all of his work. Tashin makes some of the best cinema books out there. This incredible book was written by J.W. Rensler and Lee Unkrich. First, let's discuss this box that houses the books contained inside. The back of the book gives a clear description of what's inside, from making of photos, screenplay, concept art, deleted scenes, correspondence, and other documents. This book is 2,198 pages and weighs about 44 pounds. Steven Spielberg provides quite an accurate quote on the back. Cinema Force acquired copy number 926 of 1,000 limited editions. Both Rensler and Unkrich spent many, many years researching and interviewing everyone involved in the production. You open the box from the bottom flaps. Once you open it, on the inside flap is your official registration and copy number for the limited edition, which we also saw on the outside of the box earlier. The first book we take out is the scrapbook, which is a behind the scenes photo journey from the production. Next is a white box called the ephemera box, which contains several other books inside. The red book is the comprehensive making of book. The box itself is a puzzle or maze, if you will. You can bend it several ways to get the books back in place properly. The scrapbook begins with several newspaper articles that over time paint a rather grim past for the Overlook Hotel. The scrapbook played a larger part in Stephen King's source novel but as we will see, it had a place at one point in the unfinished version of the film. Moving forward, we see Kubrick had miniatures built of the many rooms in the hotel, which were later turned into full-scale sets at Elstree Studios in London. It is a work of art to behold. This deleted scene shows Jack looking through the scrapbook and he has made a Native American totem out of his own belongings. This was very interesting to see Jack's transformation in a different fashion than what was in the final cut of the film. Here, we see Stanley Kubrick writing his version of Red Rum on the door as a test before Danny did it in the final film. Scattered throughout the book are Polaroids from script supervisor June Randall. This is one of the coolest, if you will, deleted scenes of an above head shot of the maze covered in snow with a tiny little jack in the middle of the frame. There is also the original ending included here that Kubrick cut after several first public screenings of the film. I won't give it away here. You'll just have to find out on your own. The ephemera box contains a lot of fun stuff. The first of which is a stack of typed pages direct from Jack's typewriter. The paper is very thin, so you have to be very careful handling it. Next is script supervisor June Randall's on-set script with the shooting script and notes from the set, including dialogue changes, continuity photos, and other such notations that she thought were important enough to include during every single day of production. There are two black books included, the first being Saul Bass's sketchbook for the poster of the film. 
Here, you can really see the progression of Mr. Bass and his eventual landing on the image and final typeface for the poster. The next book is some concept art that was found in Kubrick's archives recently, showing some of the sketches of the Overlook Hotel. This is a really early look at what Kubrick was envisioning for the film's scale. The last book in this set is a real treat. Makeup artist Tom Smith sketched every cast and crew member during his downtime on set, and after the wrap of the film, he gave each person a copy of this book. This is a truly amazing treat to include in this set. And finally, we get to the big red book, known as The Making Of. This book is maybe the most comprehensive making of book I have ever witnessed. It is deep and vast in a way I don't think film books have ever been before. It even includes an ad in the paper looking for a boy to play Danny. The back of the book does a nice job of putting together all of the deleted scenes so that you can see what was cut from the film. There are some real revelations in here that will surprise you and make you look at the film in a very new way. And that's Tashin's new book on Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Only 1,000 were printed, and I am very happy to possess copy number 926 and not 237. <laughs>